Greetings, Laura Leader with Law Office Solution here. In this video, I want to show you the number one question I get when it comes to troubleshooting, formatting, and legal documents. People have a document where they have text and life is good until all of a sudden everything jumps to the next page. And I'll get emails and frantic phone calls from people saying, you know, there's no rhyme or reason, there is no page break, I can't get the text to go back up. Well, there are a handful of things that can cause this, but it's almost always, about 90% of the time, this one thing that I'll show you. The other thing people say when this happens, if they're familiar with the show hide feature, which on your home ribbon, there's a paragraph mark in the upper right of the paragraph formatting group, that if you click it, it toggles on and off show hide where you can see non-printing characters like arrows where tabs are and paragraph marks where hard returns are. And the people that are having this problem will also say, I see all these little squares in my document to the left of the paragraphs. Well, they are not bullets. They will not print. And if you turn your show hide off, you won't see them anymore. What these little squares indicate is that there is some paragraph formatting pagination turned on. And I'll quickly show you how to fix this problem, and then I'll explain a little bit more about it. So if I wanted to make sure that all this text was on the same page, I could grab these paragraphs here. And notice I'm not grabbing my headings, they're just the paragraphs between them. And I'm going to go to that paragraph formatting group, click the little button to launch the dialog box. And in the paragraph formatting, there are two pages. The second one is line and page breaks. Keep with next, keep lines together, and page break before. If any one or combination of these is turned on, that's when you'll see these little squares. And usually it's keep with next and keep lines together combined that cause this issue. So I'm just going to turn those off for these paragraphs, say OK. Ah, the little squares went away. And my text is now paginating properly. So what are these little squares or what do those features indicate? Let's go back in there and take a look. Now I'm going to stay on this paragraph here. And before I jump back into paragraph format, I want to point something out to you. I am using styles to format my text. And a style, if you're not familiar, is a basically a collection of formatting. And I'm, right now I'm just running my mouse pointer over different styles on the home ribbon in the styles gallery. And you can see a little preview of what my text will look like should I pick that particular style. And the one that I use for the level one of my outline here is this legal desk underscore one. I'll just put it back on. It was already on. So it has a little square out to the left of it. And that's good because that means that if this heading is ever the last thing at the bottom of the page, let me see if I can make that happen. It will never let the page break between my heading and the text below it. So I just delete a few of my paragraphs here. And I'll put a little bit of text back in. I just want to make this go long enough that it pushes my heading down to the bottom of the page. So I'm going to copy and paste this text a couple times. I'm just using the keyboard to do it. And see, as soon as this went to the line, boom. Even though I had three lines of text, the heading and then two lines of this paragraph below it, the whole thing jumped to the next page, which is wonderful. Because as I'm typing, I never have to worry that the page will break between my heading and the text below it. So that's an excellent use of the Keep With Decks, Keep Lines Together feature. But a not so great use of it is when I don't understand what's going on and I get confused and I manage to get that formatting on other paragraphs. And then they're all jumping to the next page. So let me undo a couple times to get my text back in here the way I had it. And let's talk about what exactly they mean. Let me put them back. I just did undo enough times to get them back. All right. Let's go into the paragraph formatting dialog box again. Widow Orphan Control, that is usually on. It might not be on in pleadings because a lot of times people don't want the pleadings to 
uh, have little orphan control. They want to control the page breaks and type slashes at the bottom where they put their own page breaks in. But otherwise, it's usually on. That will not cause the little square to appear. What widow orphan control means is don't let two lines of text. Sorry. What widow orphan control means is always keep at least two lines of text in a paragraph together, assuming the paragraph is more than one line. So it wouldn't work on my heading that's only one line, but any other paragraph, if it's got at least two lines, it won't let just one line of that paragraph straggle at the top or bottom of a page. So that's a pretty typical setting that's just on by default in most Word documents. But keep with next and keep lines together are not typically on by default. Keep with next means always keep this paragraph, or at least part of it, on the same page as the next paragraph. So that works for my short headings. You know, if they're only one line or two lines, it's going to keep the whole heading on the same page. If they're three, four, five lines, it's only going to keep part of the heading on the same page as the next paragraph. So depending on whether you want that or not, you may also want to turn on keep lines together. Keep lines together says you can break between the paragraphs. If I grab all of these and I say keep lines together, but I don't say keep with next, it will still break between the paragraphs. It's a paragraph by paragraph setting. Keep lines together is really nice for bullet points when you don't care if the page breaks between your bullet points, but you don't want it breaking in the middle of your bullet point. So that's one of the times when I use it a lot. And then sometimes for headings, people like, if they have long headings, like you might have in a pleading, and they don't want the page to break in them, they might want to do both keep with next and keep lines together. And that makes sure that both the paragraph, the whole paragraph stays on the same page as one below it. But that's also what causes the issue where a whole chunk of paragraphs at once will jump to the next page because they have keep with next and keep lines together turned on. So if I go back in and turn it off, and this time instead of clicking the dialog box launcher, I'll right click and go into paragraph. Just another way to get there. And I can turn them off for these paragraphs. Say OK. And there we go. Now, if you're wondering how that happened, my suspicion is that the person typing in this document didn't, was not really aware of styles and the fact that the styles can store that keep with next in it. So they maybe they got this document from someone else and they had uh, intelligently used this style here uh, for the level one. But the person working on the document somehow got that same style on other paragraphs. So I'm just going to put that style on these paragraphs here. And then they, they didn't understand that was a style, you know, that all they had to do was pick the style they did want to fix that situation because they just weren't familiar with it. So what they did was they freaked out a little bit and probably possibly spewed a few profanities, muttered some things about Microsoft Word not being good for legal documents, you know who you are, and then they manually turned off things like the bold and the underline to get it to look the way they want. Maybe they're like, oh, I don't know what's going on with these numbers. And they couldn't figure out how to get the right numbering. So they maybe figured out they could backspace. And then they just started typing numbers in. But somehow they got it to look right. But they still had the style on it. And the style was set up specifically to include keep with next and keep lines together. Another way that this happens is if you think of a letter it's or any document really where you don't want the last, um, you don't want the signature block to be on a page all by itself. It's common to go to the last paragraph above it, or in this case maybe I'll do these, uh, both of these, and go to keep with next and just put that on the paragraph, and then at least part of the paragraph will stay on the same page. But if you also get keep lines together, then the whole thing's going to stay. See the, how the whole thing just jumped. Uh, and if you don't realize, and then you're typing along, and you keep that formatting, now you've got a whole bunch of paragraphs jumping to the next page when they shouldn't be.
Okay, at the very beginning I mentioned there are other things that can cause this to happen as well. But they're not as common, so I saved them for the end uh, in case you're curious. Um, one of the things that can happen is the page break before feature can get turned on. If somebody, for whatever reason, goes into the paragraph formatting and turns on page break before for, the par for a paragraph, the page will always break before that paragraph. I probably should have picked a better one, like further down on the page. Let's do this one right here. La la la, who knows what I was thinking. But all of a sudden, all these are jumping to the next page. And it's very confusing because there is no page break, right? I don't see a page break when I use this. Now that feature can be nice. I use it sometimes when I'm writing uh, tech manuals and I want it like a chapter to always start on the next page. I'll put it in a style for my chapter headings and then they just naturally start on the next page. But if you don't know it's there, <laughs> good luck. So that's another thing that can cause that. And I'm just going to grab this whole document and go into paragraph formatting and clear page break before to turn that off. The another thing that can cause it that's even less common but does happen is on page layout you can have a vertical alignment for the actual page itself. So you know how um, like in a table, your text might be top aligned, center, or bottom aligned. Well, you can do that in documents too. Usually, a document is top aligned, which means as you're going to the next page, the text, as you're typing along, it appears at the top. But if sometimes people will center it uh, for a title page and then they don't realize that's on their whole document or they'll justify it, maybe who knows why, uh, or bottom align it. So if I bottom align this, now, on the last page of my document, or wherever it spills over, it's always going to go to the bottom of the page. Let me go to the end here and shrink this page down so you can see this better. So you can see the text is bottom aligned, uh, which does not can create a little bit of confusion. So that's another thing that can happen. And so for that, I'll go back to layout and go back. Um, in this little page setup here, dialog box launcher, I can go to layout and just tell it to be top aligned. This setting is stored in the document section, by the way, and this document is all one section. I don't have any section breaks in it, so I know that when I change that there, it's going to change it for the whole document. Okay, and then there's one other thing I've seen um, that will happen, and that is we check everything, all the formatting is not formatting, but the page just keeps breaking somewhere. Sometimes something funky can happen with the printer driver, between the printer driver and your document. And another thing you might see when this happens is text, um, like it looks like gibberish, like it's all scrambled up on top of itself. You're looking at your document going, what the heck? Things are stretched really weird or letters are literally right on top of each other. And what has caused it is some kind of confusion uh, between Word and the printer driver because everything you see in this view, print layout, which is the uh, most common view that people would work in, view print layout, is going through the print driver. And what I found that fixes this when it happens is going to act like a bit of print, so file print, control P, and then pick another printer. And you don't have to actually print. And it can be any printer, you know, an Adobe printer, an XPS printer. Just pick some other printer driver. Go back to your document. It'll probably look fine. And then you can go back to file print and pick the printer that you really want. Oops, I accidentally clicked to print it. I don't have a printer installed on this particular computer. Now I'm just wreaking havoc, pay no attention. What I meant to do was go back to file print and just pick the printer that I really want. Now if I don't want to print this document right now, I don't have to. I can just get out of there, but that should fix it. Just switch the printer, 
go look at your document, it should be fine, and then you should be able to go back to the printer that you want, and it should be fine. And those are the handful of things that I've seen that can cause that, the most common being the keep with next keep lines together.